In this video, I am going to try and provide you with a better uh, description and uh, some more drawings, uh, something that maybe will make a little more sense to you than it will if you're actually looking at the information in this pamphlet. Now, the information I'm going to talk about in this video will be for uh, how to support the bottom of a stairway coming off of a deck, so for an exterior stairway. And this is what the American Wood Council recommends. And I'm not going to put a link in the video or in the video description box, but I will put some information that you can put into the search engine and a page number that uh, might be helpful to, uh, so you don't got to go through the entire book trying to find it. But what they have in the book is just a small, um, uh, they, I think they have four details and they're real small and it's kind of hard to understand what in the heck um, you're looking at. So I went ahead and drew something and hopefully I'm right on this with my interpretation. But this is actually what they're suggesting for a stairway without a handrail. I will put some more information at the end of the video, towards the end of the video, on what they're suggesting and recommending for a stairway with a handrail. So... They're basically asking for a 10 inch by 10 inch by 6 inches deep concrete footing or a 12 inch diameter 6 inches deep concrete footing. So either one of these will be fine. And the minimum distance into the ground needs to be 12 inches. So from the top of the soil to the bottom of the footing needs to be 12 inches. That's the minimum that they're suggesting. And then, of course, we'll go into what they want for um, soil with frost lines here in a little bit. So a 2x4 nailed to the 4x4 with eight 16D nails or eight 3.5 inch long number eight screws and then two of the same, either a 16D or a 3.5 inch long number eight screw for the attaching the stringer to the wood post. They also recommend that the wood post be cut um, to the bottom of the tread. So it would look something like this is what they're looking for. And I would imagine they have it kind of like this on the outside. I don't see why it wouldn't be a problem for you to put it on the inside here if you want it to look a little nicer. Seems like it would work out just fine. So I went ahead and moved this one back too. You can see that from the front of the stringer, probably about uh, three or four inches back. And here I have it almost to the front. But you can see here, if this lumber was to split here, this thing's going down and it's a problem. So they did not suggest where to position this on the stair stringer. You know, my thought is if you move it back, it could actually, the front could break off. If you move it to the front, the back section could break off. So not 100% sold on what to do there. Um, and again, I'm just providing you with a better interpretation of their example. I will uh, make other videos if you want, looking for a little more information on uh, what might work better or even a different type of stairway uh, that will work better for something like this. So this is what it would be without a handrail. So if this post was to go up and it had a handrail on, on here, then this would be a different, would require a different assembly method. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what would be required if you had a frost line. So if you live in an area where the ground freezes, and if the ground freezes, then the soil could be pushed up and uh, if that's the case, it's going to raise the stairway and raise the footing. So they want the footing, the bottom of the footing, to be below the frost line. So, you know, an inch below is fine. So let's just say in our example here, we have a two-foot frost line. So they're, they're suggesting if you live in an area like this, the ground within two feet is going to freeze and could force things up. Below that, you shouldn't have a problem. So uh, that's what the frost line is looking at. And uh, same thing here, the 2x4 support, the eight nails or screws. You can space them apart. And then, of course, it will have two nails or two screws to fast fasten the stringer to the post, what it would look like when it's filled in. 
So this would be an example for a frost line if you had soil with a frost line and no handrail. Next up, let's take a look at what would be required if they have a post, if you have a 4x4 post that is going to be used to help support a guard railing, something that uh, a lot of times you come to a stairway like this and it's not very strong. And it might not be very strong if you just go down 12 inches in the ground. You know, if this thing is three, uh, two feet into the ground, it's going to be a different story. But you're also going to have to make sure that the it's stabilized on the footing somehow. They, for the, the examples I looked at provided in the pamphlet um, from the American Wood Council, they did not provide any type of building hardware supports. So you might have to put a um, some type of a base um, connector in here or, you know, something to prevent this thing from moving. So keep that in mind also. So let's get back to what they require for a post with that's going to be used as a handrail. Same nailing schedule for the 2x4. Only difference is going to be the that they require two half inch diameter bolts to connect the stringer to the post. Another view of it there. Now I would like to point out that any lumber buried underneath the, the soil is going to need to be ground rated treated lumber. So keep that in mind also. You just can't bury, you know. And I know a lot of people too, they, oh, a, a four by four, some cedar. Um, you know, the termites aren't going to um, get to it. Well, here, there are so many words that are misleading, and if we listen to the government, um, we can get a nice, uh, or the newscasters, we get a nice uh, fill of that. But uh, it's no different in the construction industry, you know. Um, Decay-resistant lumber, I've seen it decay. I've seen it rot, and that's why they use the word resistant. Otherwise, it would be um, decay-proof you know, waterproof, water resistant. Well, I'll tell you what, the lumber here, if it's not um, ground rated, pressure treated lumber, then um, you're probably going to be replacing it um, over time. So just keep that in mind. They did not mention that in the book. And if they did, uh, they might have mentioned it earlier on in the book. Um, I didn't uh, see it. So just pointing that out. That's This is definitely a plus. And they're not going to argue with me about that. They're going to be agreeing with me um, for that statement there. Now, if you're with the American Wood Council and you're watching this and you see any problems with something that I suggested, feel free to uh, share them, leave them in the comment area, and I will address them as soon as possible. Now, I do want to point out one thing. Even though this is a suggestion from another organization, it might not meet your local building codes. It might uh, not be something that they're using and they have their own reasons why. Always check with your local building department to verify any of the information you see on our websites and other websites as well. I mean, the last thing I want to do is provide you with some information from somebody else. I'm kind of like a middleman here. I'm providing you with an, a diff with an interpretation that might be difficult for most of you to understand by looking at the uh, two-dimensional drawing. So these three dimensions, three-dimensional stuff I can do really makes a difference. So that's it for the video. Let us know what you think by hitting the old thumbs up button and feel free to share any experiences you've had with us about uh, situations like this. I know a lot of people I've been talking to lately have had the stairways heave and they've lifted up and separated, broken away from the edge. And uh, I know it's not a huge problem, but uh, if we can just reduce uh, the possibility of stuff like that happening in the future, then we could actually be building better stuff. And that's going to translate into uh, less accidents um, in the future or problems with our buildings.